Hey guys, just a quick video here to go over the controls for this Null Operator Flight Test module. So this requires an Xbox 360 controller, hopefully you have one. And let's see, let's go top to bottom here. So forward and back is as you would expect it to be, the left stick. Left and right on the left stick will strafe you, albeit slowly. You can see here that we don't have much except for a whole bunch of forward booster capacity. If you want to look around like I am here, use the D-pad on the controller. It will just snap back once you release it. To rotate, you can use the right stick to rotate left, right, up and down. And the two shoulder buttons to roll. And then lastly, to move up and down vertically relative to your facing direction, it is the right trigger to go upward and the left trigger to go downward. And then last but not least, um, basically while you're flying, you will be held to a sort of cruising speed, max speed. As you can see here, I'm topping out in the lower left hand corner at about 80 meters a second going forward. You can boost by clicking down and holding the either of the sticks based on whether you want linear boost or angular boost. So if I click down and hold on the left stick here for linear boost you can see I can make it up to about 170 meters a second or so. And similarly to turn quickly I can hold down on the right stick while rotating. Note that you rotate fast enough that when you're reaching the end of say a 90 or 180 degree spin you do tend to have to counter rotate a little bit because your torque is a little extreme. And then let's see here so that's all the controls. Oh and if you hit B you'll toggle off all of your linear thrusters so if you want to just land clunk you can do so like that. I've prepared a ring course here. Note it is quite difficult, um, especially if you're using your boosters at all. At cruising speed, it's pretty doable. Um, takes a while to get used to this control scheme, as, as you can see here, we have a fair bit of inertia before the fly-by-wire system really kicks in and manages to slow us down. And the other thing that makes it difficult is there is a damage system implemented in this. Personally, I love crashing constantly. If you do crash, uh, just hit the space bar to reset the scene. I'm not going to do that now because it'll interrupt the recording, but uh, just I will end this video with a uh, colossal impact or two. Woohoo! Aw, oh, that was lame. That only ripped off a couple pieces. We can do better. There we go. Way too much fun. Enjoy!